just a plan Gentlemen, coming to you live from Animal Streams Hub out here in Los Angeles, California. I want to wish you a very hearty hey now. I thought that was Jack Black for a second. It is. The name of this song is Protobot, I Am the Warlock. And it goes fucking crazy. I whisper the ancient creatures. I'll drink the blood of the world. And as I begin to levitate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Wednesday. You're hanging out with me. We got a bunch of content. Strap in. Strap the fuck in. I'm just getting over that illness I had. I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. had the illness I think it was just allergies man I think allergies were kicking my dick but I'm feeling real nice now real nice I got some sun today caught a workout shit shit what movie are we gonna watch patience patience yeah. oh yeah wow that's for cool I gifted a tier one sub to Jane Othin 22 they have given six it's the vax the channel gotta be um all right i'll talk to you guys about where we're, what we're watching tonight so as you know i like to balance i like to have balance i like to have Valencia. Um, and so I will show movies that are fun. We've done some fun movies lately. I'll show movies with a theme. We did a pride movie. I'll show movies that I like. We watched Total Recall. Um, and then we watch Criterion films. And tonight we are going to watch a Criterion film that came out recently that I'm pretty sure a lot of you didn't see. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. A lot of you Shrek didn't see this thing. movie. Um, this movie's amazing and it's got my favorite leading man in in Hollywood in it. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. Um, and it's by a director life. that- thank you for the entertainment while my life I don't know if you've apart, seen smile. his stuff. Oh, thank you for the hype train, guys. Thank you for the hype train. Uh, this is by director Thomas Vinterberg, uh, who did a movie called The Celebration and The Hunt. And then he did a movie recently that was really, really, really interesting called Another Round. 
um, where basically a group of friends agree to try an experiment where they are always fucked up. Um, and it's Mads Mickelson, and it's really, really fucking good. So, um, this is going to be your Criterion Cinema Night. Uh, a lot of you will kind of bail on this movie because uh, it's foreign. I get it. I understand. I know how it goes. But Mads Mikkelsen is incredible in this movie, and it's an incredible film, and it's challenging. And I guarantee you, most of you haven't seen it, even though this movie came out in, I think, 2020. So we'll be watching that later. Um, it's a good one. Wait, we're watching another round? Yep. Yep. Um, isn't there an American remake? We don't. We don't watch the remakes here. <laughs> we don't watch the remakes. Um, very interesting concept. Let's take a look. Here. Is this... Age-reduced Tom Hanks, I see. Hey, Dad. I'd like you to meet Margaret. It's nice to meet you, Margaret. Nice to meet you, Mr. Young. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Is the premise of this movie that every shot is going to be from this same, same space? Sure does. Take a straight to no. stronger Wait. to the corner of your life. Great song. Make Queen runs so fast She hasn't got time To make you Wait, was I right that it's gonna be Every shot is from this exact same point? Cause it's time, it's time In time with your time, time And his news is captured All the queens in our use Right here is where we want to be. React Jesus? I just I have a I have an eye for these things. You know, if you like, you could spend the rest of the night here. I could spend the rest of my life here. This was our home. We lived here. Interesting. Interesting. Everybody saw Boyhood and they were like, how can I do this? Interesting. Um, I hate it when people are happy. Well, you might want to get that checked out. <laughs> You might want to get that checked out. Um, Batman Cape Crusader trailer. Okay, let's take a look. Asking the question on everyone's mind these days, what do you think about the Batman? I'm frightened. This whole city's gone to hell in a handbasket. Well, he's breaking the law, ain't he? So they ought to catch that freak and lock him up. I won't say it's gonna be easy, but catching criminals is what we do. So this one dresses up like Dracula, so what? We're gonna take him down. What do we know about this Batman? He's been beating the tar out of muggers and dope peddlers out there the last few weeks. <laughs> dope peddlers. He's mostly been seen at night driving that hot rod of his 100... Whoa! What a ray yeah, yo thank you. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Boop a doo. I appreciate you. Miles an hour. And now he's even attacking our brave police. Nice car. This man is not a hero, he's a criminal. And his time in Gotham is up. 
Mischief afoot, sir? Three explosions in two weeks. Peculiar. There's something more going on here. Leo the Timo, thank you. He knows too much. He's an itch that needs to get scratched. The kings don't run this court anymore. The jester does. Oh, yeah, dude. We saw this when they first demoed it. This is the new Harlequin design. Cool. We really haven't seen too many alt Harlequin designs. Bang. Look out. We could be looking at an all-out gang war on the streets of Gotham. This is a losing battle. A hundred other monsters will show up to replace anyone you take down. Probably. But now they'll all know I'm coming for them. Oh. Batman. Let's go. I don't think that's Harley. What? No, I think it is. Isn't that the alt alt design for Harley? Wasn't that like the the tweet that we read? Oh yeah, wow. Just for cool. I thought we read a tweet that that was Harley. Didn't it call her Jester? Isn't the Jester a, a character from like alternate alternate Earth? Chat, it is Harlequin. Okay. I thought so. I'm getting i I'm getting fed bad info. Um do 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 do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some special content tonight. Um we have some some special content. Okay. Quick housekeeping. Quick housekeeping. Um, <laughs> 230 of the 360 bottles that got shipped, uh, recently, um, of the last 360 of the thousand were the big bottles. So 230 of you will be receiving those big bottles of hot sauce. Let me know if you end up getting one of the big bottles. I want to see how it plays. I want to see how they look. I haven't even gotten my hands on them yet. They went out accidentally. I talked to Fourth Wall about that. Great. Secondly, if any of you got the t-shirt without the graphic on the back, please make Fourth Wall aware of that situation and they will remedy that. Okay, I talked to Fourth Wall about it. I didn't know that some people had received, like, I guess, error print t-shirts. Uh, if you did, uh, please reach out to fourth wall and they will take care of that. They've been made aware of the situation and they plan to remedy it. Um, anyway, there you go. That's a little bit of housekeeping. When's the next hot sauce drop? Well, I don't know now oh, that's for a because got a new job as a creator partner manager, and I may have a campaign for you and Sear is the best way to contact the Twitter business email. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good way to do it. Uh, or if you really just want me to see it, uh, you can, you can send it to Haas and I will look at it. No guarantees though. No guarantees. Thank you though. Congratulations, by the way, Confire. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, we have a, uh, Joe is hungry premiere tonight. We have a Joe is hungry motherfucking premiere tonight. Very excited. Um, uh, about that, uh, we are actually going to have him on after we watch the premiere. 
We will watch the premiere and then we will talk to Joe. We're going to have him live here in the channel. We will do that before the film night. Haas, when did, when, when, my, I'm bad with time zones. When were we supposed to do oh, yeah, that? Wow, we were supposed to do that soon, cool. right? Nestle. We were supposed to do that at eight. Am oh, I crazy? Yeah, wow, that's for you cool. tell me. It do day. It dode. Thank you so much, um, oh, wow. That's guys, cool. for all these Hi, subscriptiones. I really appreciate you to everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Did he try our sauce? He did. God bless him. He's not really into spicy. He tried it anyway, and he enjoyed it. So when will the next hot sauce drop? Okay, I was getting into that before I got distracted. I'm so a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. Couldn't get any of your sauce this time around, but I got some of the other sauces from Speedy's. They all slap. Yeah, Speedy's hot sauce is great. It's very good. Um, so here's where we are with the sauce, just so you guys know. I do not know when the next drop will be because unfortunately, Fourth Wall accidentally sent out uh, more than half of our supply of big bottles that we that were supposed to be like the featured drop. So we have to replenish those. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I haven't talked to Jimmy about it yet. Apparently fourth wall talked to him. Big mistake by fourth wall. A lot of you received free sauce and fourth wall and I covered the price of the free upgrades. There was no additional charge to those people who received them, but I don't know when that next drop is gonna be oh, because yeah, wow. they have cool. to replenish. It's always good to see your stream and movie nights. Thank I you so much. I also wanted to thank you and please show Hola now. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, they have to replenish those additional bottles. Um, now, beyond that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are... Um, going to after the the launch of the big bottles i think i'm going to put a little bit more of a focus on the hot sauce i'm going to talk to jimmy about doing another original flavor potentially with a different citrus fruit um maybe switching it up there instead of peach maybe we go mango i don't know i don't know maybe we go fucking mango you know what i'm talking about a little mango cherry hot sauce let's get into it that's what i was thinking so a new original flavor is what I'm thinking next. And then beyond that, um, the next big push, and I've just started talking to Jimmy about this, is potentially uh, me trying to take a small ownership role over at Speedy's and then work on getting Speedy's in brick and mortar stores so that you guys can potentially go to a grocery store and uh, buy Speedy's in the future. That's the dream. That's the idea. Uh, we will see how that works out. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, let's get the big bottles in first. Let's do our first big bottle drop. We're going to do a lot of hype for the big bottle drop. You guys really asked for this. This was, you know, I always oh, ask yeah, for wow, your feedback. Cool, and I always ask... Um, for your for your for your notes on the sauce and so many of you guys have been so positive uh you have loved the sauce really the only note uh over and over and over again has been hey will could we please 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 have bigger bottles because we go through the sauce so fast so that's what we worked oh, on wow that's very, very cool. excited for we that we shall write eternal shining and chrome You shall ride forever, shiny and chrome. By the way, I finally watched Furiosa. I liked it. I liked it. A lot of it makes sense after listening to like the development of Fury Road and why George Miller didn't want to do it the same way. I liked it. It was good. It was a good film. Um, it was good. Nef, hot honey when? Uh, we, we'll see when we do a hot honey. Might be a little while. Um, why can't I get it at my rural liquor store? I, I'll do my best. Um, anywho. Considering it's a prequel, it's very good. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm holding out for a spicy addition. The normal version is tasty, but too similar to a barbecue sauce. That is the only time I've ever heard that complaint, that it's too similar to a barbecue sauce. I've never heard that. Um, I, yeah, I, I do think there will be an extra hot though. Did you see the box office for Furiosa? Yikes. Yeah, it just didn't make money. Yeah, I got two 12-ounce bottles in the mail today. Dude, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations to you, my friend. You got the, the big Chumbawangas bottles. He got, he got two of the big Chumbawanguses. The God pull. Yeah. Um, I did too, but one was broke. Okay. Again, if you ever have a broke bottle and we're having more and more of these, I'm going to have to talk to them about the shipping method because at first it was only a few, but now we're at like oh, that's 10 bottles that have broken. Um, always reach out to me or fourth wall and they will replace them. Um, I, I'm going to talk about the shipping oh, method. Cool. So. The good news, though, is if you bought two bottles and one of them broke, you bought two five ounce bottles and you got a 12 ounce bottle that survived. So you still ended up with more sauce than you paid for. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my taste is weird, but it's on the sweeter side for me personally. Oh, it's definitely sweet. It's a it's a it's a peach based hot sauce. Are we still waiting for channel point bottles to ship? Oh, no. Cool. Film night is best night. No, those should have those shipped oh, yeah. eons ago. Oh, if you didn't cool. receive one of My those, partner please and I have been reach out. Film nights almost since you started. Keep it up, Neff. Llama Todd, so it's back in stock? No. All right, well, we'll work, we're, we'll work through the multitude of issues I'm seeing, but know that I'm doing my best, and I hope a lot of you received free hot sauce and enjoyed it. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV went? Is that Final Fantasy 14? I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not the biggest mobile cool. guy movie tonight pinned message oh yeah wow that's um, cool wow almost two years where does the time go oh yeah wow that's for a cool I don't know you see the link I sent you just hear me out bro it's made in early 2000s just give it a chance it's funny AF um series 7 the contenders What is it? Oh, it's it's a whole ass. What is he doing? Like, that's not really that's not really what I, where I'm uh, what I'm about anymore. You know. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. I was under the impression the Will Neff edition sauce was the same flavor as the original. I voted both. Just checking. What am I? I don't know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> I don't know what I am looking at. I might have to give this a look another time. <laughs> I, I cannot wrap my head around what I was looking at there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, that's cool. Is the Will Neff the same as the original? The Will Neff is the only difference is that it is a fraction of a hair hotter than the original. That's the only difference. 
It's the only oh, difference. That's for a cool. Guys, why are you sending me all these like off brand movies right now? <laughs> Discord. Um, ready whenever. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. It is now time. We are going to debut the brand new Joe is Hungry. Oh, yeah. Wow. We are going to debut the brand new game realistic AF. New Pokemon game realistic AF. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a brand new Joe is Hungry. And Joe in this episode is reviewing my least favorite fast food restaurant on the planet, Subway. Let's get into it. I know it's just a crush. I know it's just a theory that people that like subway are all just pickle people and they just love the ability to get as many pickles as they want tell me i'm oh, wrong yeah, wow. That's <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Joe. You've once again settled in at the Joe is Hungry channel, wrapped in pita bread, flash cooked, melted, literally right here within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. Before we get started, I would like to extend a special shout out to Moochie in my Discord for helping me with research on today's video. Also, I would like to give a special shout out to particularly Pirate in my Discord for maintaining the Joe is Hungry score spreadsheet. I have links in the description below. Kyle and Grace. Cody and Ryan, Corey and Steph, congratulations for tying the knot. Max Taylor, Spencer and Blake, Roberto, Azalea, Drew and Kevin, Manny Matt, Miranda and Nick, Keith and Andrew. I want to wish a very special oh, Joe's Hungry oh, birthday shout out to cool. each and every Subway one of you. Salt and pepper for With spice. that out of the way, let's move on with this video because it's time to head back to Subway. I'm, I'm interesting to, uh, interested to see what Joe thinks of Subway because I do think that of all the sub places, Subway is the worst. I think Jersey Mike's, Blimpy, uh, Quiznos, Firehouse, and Jimmy John's are all superior places to get sandwiches. So I just do not understand the loyalty to Subway that some people have. Hey, I know you're out there. God bless you. Peace and love. Peace and love. But there are straight up Subway heads. They love Subway. They just love this restaurant. So we'll see what Joe thinks. And check out a new menu item. This is actually an addition to an existing menu lineup called the Subway Sidekicks. They've been around for quite a while now and consist of a footlong cookie, a Cinnabon footlong chero, and the Auntie Annie's footlong pretzel. I actually tried all these in a live stream oh, a yeah, few wow. months ago, sure and cool. truthfully, I was not impressed. But hopefully Subway's going to okay. do a little bit. Thank you guys for all the subs tonight. Appreciate you. Better this time. The footlong sidekick dippers come in three versions and are made with soft and warm flatbread, filled and rolled with meat, and or melted cheese. With one side of 10 dipping sauces. I have those on the screen and in the description below. The first one is a chicken cheese sidekick dipper and it is made with tender chicken strips rolled into two six inch wraps, making 12 inches. The default and recommended dipping sauce is honey mustard, but you can change that. The second choice is a double cheese sidekick dipper and it is made with melted shredded Monterey cheddar and American cheese rolled into two six inch. 
Subway fans are in shambles right now. What are these, bro? Toasted wraps and is automatically paired with peppercorn ranch. And lastly is a pepperoni cheese sidekick dipper, which is what we're doing today. Thanks to good people that helped me choose by participating in this week's food poll. This sidekick dipper is made with spicy pepperoni and melted American cheese. Again, rolled into two six inch toasted wraps paired with Baja Chipotle dipping sauce. According to Subway, each one of these are supposed to weigh in at 136 grams or 4.80 ounces. If you break out the calculator, do a little bit of fuzzy cat math, you come up with a preliminary and I do stress preliminary middle of the road, 63 cents an ounce. But here at the Joe's Hungry channel, we embrace the trust but verify business model because we will find out for sure later in the video when we do the Joe's Hungry weight test and calculate the actual real. Someone said I'm high and that still sounds bad. Out the door, fast food price per ounce. So let's see if Subway can clear this hurdle, serve these things piping hot, and roll on over to Subway in Fairmount, Georgia. Oh, Actually, wow. we're so not cool. quite there yet. I'm still in my parking lot. So let's go ahead and pick up our sidekicks. I've got my dippers. Let's do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Is this Deftones? What is, I've never heard Joe put a song like this. Dipper number one is 195.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Dipper number two is 100. What's with the dildos? Sir, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You're gonna have to fill me in a little bit. 165.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Dipper number three is 162.7 degrees Fahrenheit. If you've been watching my channel any length of time, you know I like my temperatures at 140 degrees or above hotter is always better. Actually, I am quite surprised. I've never really got anything this hot from Subway. So today, Subway, apparently you get it because you pass the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Now it's time to get my surgical suite open. Get ready. Wrong chat. <laughs> business cut this thing open see what's inside head back to the studios and do the joe is hungry weight test and as usual in every video we always take off for the are you talking about his row of knives right here chatter my god in heaven you're gooning too hard you're gooning these are knives packaging in other words we set the tear on the scales too hot fuck around you drown off this way dipper number one weighs in at 4.50 ounces or 128 grams dipper number i two wish in. i had boob my f my favorite chatter message of all time i wish i had boob at 4.65 ounces or 132 grams dipper number three is 4.60 ounces or 129 grams well the weights are all fairly consistent with those numbers subway fair amount you pass the joe is hungry consistency weight test however they are consistent at one thing they are below their own serving weights and before anybody asks i did not include the dipping sauce in the weights as in the nutritional information they were not included hmm. however they're down just a little bit not quite 10 oh, percent wow. really you really cool. can't blame the you people working there close to the sun <laughs> yep they assemble these things exactly the way instructed but today i still can't give them a pass on the joe is hungry weight test now if you add them all up average them out do the math it runs the price up a little bit more to 65 cents an ounce so now it's time to if you were invited invited to pickleball who would you pick as a partner i wouldn't need a partner do the next phase the one and only the joe is hungry big reveal they they could literally put iron mouse as a ipad on the court with me and i i'm telling you right now i would beat any other twitch streamer in the world right now at pickleball no one can touch me on pickleball What is this? 
this. This this isn't even fast food. This is something you make when you're high and there's no food in the house. This is what they look like, and this is what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, it this is. is what they look like, and oh, this yeah, is what wow, they're supposed cool. to look like. Watch one day, Joe will replace the well, knives with dildos, and that we've seen what they look like. Low. And they kind of resemble their ad. What chaotic duck? What are you talking about? What are you fucking talking about? No, they will never be vindicated. They will don't don't encourage that line of thinking that anything that is even vaguely so, like cylindrical is now a dildo. Those are knives. Those are clearly knives. Photos. Seems like I'm seeing a little bit more pepperoni hanging out. Maybe a little bit more cheese. Kind of hard to say. Anyway, we've seen how much they were. Not the greatest price, not the worst. But that only leaves one more test to do. And I think everybody knows what it is. It's time for the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite, bite test. test. Engage. All right, Joe's been going crazy with the bite test, but it's all dependent on what song he picks to edit to. So I'm going to go 15 on the over-under, and because this is a per premiere, we can bet on it. Ladies and gentlemen, get your fucking bets in, you slags. You slags, bet on the over or the under. Get your fucking bets in. Someone's got to take the knife. Yes. Chatter. And ladies and gentlemen, this is an important one because we got big bottles of hot sauce coming soon and we're going to do another channel point giveaway. That's right. Your channel points have value here, you fucking slags. So get your bits in. 90% of gamblers stop gambling before they hit it big. Is that going to be you, Chatter? Get your fucking bits in. Will it be the over? 16 cuts. Or will it be the under 14 cuts? Remember, if it lands squarely on 15, it's a push. No one makes a fucking bloody cent. So get it twisted. Bets are in, ladies and gentlemen. Over 20 million channel points up for grabs. It's slow. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. The overpays. The overpays. You fucking slags. You fucking slags. Ruined you are. Pay the over. I'm not really a big fan. What are you even counting? <laughs> that guy's new here. Uh, we're counting how many cuts that he places uh, during his bite test portion. How many times the camera cuts of the dipping sauce however it is a necessity because this is sort of dry and bready but at least they do give you a choice of dipping sauce i can taste the sandwich pepperoni although i don't think they could have sliced it any thinner and still held together i can even taste the cheese it kind of gives it a better texture but it sort of leaves me wanting for more. I do like the chewiness of the pita bread, but I really don't have anything else to say because really there's not a whole lot there to talk about unless my shadowy counterpart has something to add when we look back into the historical records and do the Joe is Hungry sneak a doodle bite. Sneak a doodle bite number one. Sneak a doodle bite number two. I've been watching a lot of the YouTube. You've been killing it. I really appreciate that. Thank you so Sneak much. No work so hard on the YouTube. And I'm just, I don't know if I'm a very good YouTuber, but I, I really appreciate all the hard work he puts in. And it's been a lot of fun growing the YouTube. So thanks for watching. Goodbye. Number three.
You know, I think what you said in the last video was wrong. Wrong about what? I'm the one that she likes. You're the ghost and don't forget it. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Anyway, let's move on. Joe and Shadow Joe fighting for Emmy Rue's attention is a plot line I did not expect in the year of our Lord 2024. With this video, I can taste the pepperoni. It actually has a little bit of heat, about a four on the one to 10 Joe heat meter. I can taste the cheese. Maybe could have used a little bit more than that. This is kind of a bready thing. So now it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best, anything above. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now it's time to have ourselves a proper fucking gamble. A proper fucking gamble. A proper fucking gamble. I'm about to write down a number. I'm about to put down a fucking number right here. If I am within 0 0.2 points, we will pay that out. If I am more than 0 0.2 points off, then we will pay that out. So put up a prediction. Does Will guess the score or not? It's within oh, yeah, point two points. Cool. Do What's you guys hear down? me? Point two points. All right. Score is written down. Get your fucking bits in. Get your fucking bits in, you slags, saying all these channel points flying around. Oh, it makes me happy, you fucking slags. We're back to gambling. All the pre-watchers are sobbing somewhere. They fucked up our gambling, our good gambles here, blokes. Get your fucking bits in. Get your fucking bits in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the score I guessed for these lame ass roll ups was a 5 1. 5 1. Isaiah, who once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved five and down is that slippery slope to the pits and depths of fast food hell. So let's go ahead and give this the score that it truly deserves. Subway. The staff, Fairmount, definitely on point. The temperature test, they definitely knocked it out of the park. No question. The weight test, not so much. You were within 10% of your posted serving weight, so today I'm not going to bust your chops, at least not now. The price sort of has that giving us less for more vibe. Boost the old profit margins, right? But Subway, in spite of the meager ingredients, this thing actually does have flavor. And you do provide dipping sauce. It does help. And the price is not terrible. So today, Subway, I'm going to have to go 5.5. Five. No! 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 I was so close. I'm so sorry, chatters who believed. I'm so sorry, chatters who believed. Uh, I'm so sorry, chatters who believe. Pay the fucking doubters. Pay them. This is my review, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have Joe is Hungry live in studio to talk to about this review. Very special bonus content here. Haas, do we have Joe is Hungry? My wife wants a divorce. Listen, it was a <laughs> cinema. It was, it, it was my stone cold lock of the century. I was so close. I was so close.
call him? All right. I'm going to message him right now. All right, giving Joe a call right now. <laughs> the Joe is here cinema. Oh, yeah, is wow, so good. that's for a cool. Is this Joe is hungry? If this is me, Joe. Go. Oh, I got you on screen. Hang on, I'll pull that up for everybody. One sec. Yeah, it wasn't alarming. I didn't. I thought I didn't see that you were calling. And I looked up and saw it. I've been watching the video. I've been watching your stream. Oh darn! I haven't. I'm so much. sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. No, no. Hey, listen. I locked in. I was close. You were very. You were very generous to the people over at a, at a yeah. subway. Yeah, yeah, they're right down the street. One sec. <laughs> they did get it hot. They did get it hot. Got it. Got it. Hang on one second. I'm. I think I'm in streamer mode, so your video isn't showing off. Let me see if I can fix this. One sec. Okay. Yeah, screen. I had to turn off the stream so it wouldn't confuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Enable stream remote. All right. I just turned that off, and then we should be able to pull up a full screen. Joe? There we go. So, Joe, I, I got to let you know, uh, Subway is my least favorite fast food establishment. Kind of the same here. Back when Fred DeLuca ran it up till 2015, I actually liked it. And it was a place I stopped yep. when I was on road trips. But uh, after he died, his sister took over, it kind of started going downhill. She sold it to somebody else, and then he built it up to sell it to an assets man asset management group, which happened in April, and it's totally just not there. Yeah. They're coming, I, up, they're coming up with these wonky specials. I, I always think, too, it's like you put it up against a, a Jersey Mike's or – a quiz okay. knows and it's like it's not even a it's not even close no 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 it's not they just happen to be here there's they have no competition here in town <laughs> i don't actually i don't actually go over there much just to shoot videos mostly okay all right <clears throat> so what are there any items you're excited for coming up not really yeah there is there was Carl's Jr. has this veggie thing that kind of looked interesting, but I don't have a Carl's Jr. around here, and Hardee's is pretty much, they're failing all over the place. The local franchise that had a number of restaurants failed about a year ago here, so I have nothing. Really? Oh, yeah, it's dead. Hardee's, Hardee's is going down the toilet. So are we going to see some these... Joe road trips soon? Be because since, since the last time we spoke, Joe, You've kind of become an internet phenomenon. I see you all over Twitter. I see you all over my feed. I see you on TikTok. What's going on, man? You got a YouTube play button? Uh, apparently. I don't. <laughs> I mean, the Twitter thing, somebody did a thing about me swinging the knife and got like, the last time I looked, it was like 4 million views. I'm like, well, gee, why can't I just make a better one and put it on my, my X thing? I did, and I get like 60 views. <laughs> and I'm like, what's that about? Man, it's funny. Hey, uh, yeah, they do. At, listen, man, I, I told you the, the, the lore is building. Every time something happens like that, it's just it just adds to the legend. Because every time someone sees something like that, they go, who is this guy? What's he doing? Why, why are there yeah. pizza boxes all over the place? The problem with going other places is I get out of my comfort zone, and I've kind of grown to like... To use the studio you know sure. where I can sit and take my time and make them and i have good lighting here and stuff and in the car i have gopros and they're you know they're marginal yeah they're, but they're but they're all you have you know that's all that's really out there that's, yeah it's that's, that's stable the uh the other thing yeah. i've noticed is you're getting recognized a lot in georgia now with by all the people who work the drive-thrus Oh, oh yeah, they you know, <laughs> most of them know me around here. That's so awesome. you know, it, 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 it just depends. You know, you go there and sometimes they'll they're like, "Are you Joe? Are you Joe's hungry?" And yeah. I'm like, "Yes." But then other times you'll go in there and you literally you can see all these cameras. I say, "I'm making a YouTube video. I'm reviewing the food." And they're just they don't even they don't even register like, oh, "Here you go. Thank you, sir." Yeah, this has been and under I'm a like, heat lamp. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it has. Yeah, that's 
that's the there's a couple reasons i didn't really trash them bad because it wasn't like they left it under even if it hadn't passed the temperature test i wouldn't have trashed it because they're taking something out flash cook. i think they cook i'm not sure where they cooked that in a microwave or, or their convection oven i'm gonna have to ask somebody in the in the discord about that but i think they're microwave yeah do you that's think the only way they could have got them at hot do you think because you know all these people now and they know you you've been a little bit more lenient in your scores because no. jo- back in the day joe used to send some food to the pits and depths of fast food hell it's been a while since we've seen something sent to the true depths of fast food no hell. no that last wendy's that i did that i was i was aggravated because <laughs> I knew, i've known those guys for two years and they give you food they know what you're going to do with right it as soon as they hand it to you yet they still give you something that's been laying under the heat lamp or in the corner of the grill the same way with same way with my checkers over here the yeah, the, they're on my YouTube channel. You know, his wife, this one woman says, oh, that's my husband that was in there. The one, the guy, the goofy guy that handed me the food. Yeah, they, they, they give me something room temperature. I'm like, what is that? But anyway, yeah, kinda, <laughs> that kind of, I get mad about it, you know? So I'm like, you know, I'm not going to pull any punches because I know them. I mean, here, nah, it wasn't that bad. You know, my wife, my wife liked it. She's like, oh, you should give this a six. And I'm like, no, not happening. Okay. Joe, yeah, I got to ask. I gotta ask. I know, we, we get we don't have too much time with you, but I gotta ask: Is there any food reviewer or celebrity chef that you would love to collab with? Who's your dream collaboration right now? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, I don't really watch any food reviews anymore. I stopped watching those two years ago. Oh, you got the Mamba uh, mentality. You you don't watch the competition anymore. <laughs> no, no, they're not really competition. They and, and plus, if I watch them score that, you can't help it is going to affect the way I look at it. Sure, and I, and I won't do it. And 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 most of them, the, the car guys, I, I can't stand to watch them. You know, <laughs> chewing their face right up against the camera and putting an old knot on piece of food. That's just gross. Uh, and you know, I, I you know, anyway, it just just not my thing. I like you know, there's. The report of the week, but the report of the week really isn't a food reviewer per yeah. se. He's 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 got his own shtick. He's kind of interesting, but the problem when I watch him is is I'm distracted looking at him because I'm seeing all these physical things about him, like his fingernails are clubbed and stuff like that. You know, being a nurse, I'm like, well, he's got bad COPD. He's got some other stuff wrong with him, you know. But um, <laughs> but he's been doing it forever. Yeah. Pretty. Um. Good to- all right, if there's I'm one I'm talking to Will Neff here, I'm like, wow. Hey, man, I I want I just want to be a set, a stepping stone in the Joe universe. You know, I want to see you on there with binging with Babish one day. Yeah, there yeah. you go. That, he, <laughs> if you don't know who Babish is, he's like the the guy who is like the celebrity chef who took off on YouTube and makes really great stuff. Really? Yeah, I think you got to do some I, of these collabs, Joe. I, I think, think you got to bring your expertise. Is. I don't know, you know. Um, you're really the only person that I've I've streamed with. There's a couple other people I've offered to, and just then I got feeling bad about six or eight weeks ago, and I'm just now starting to get over that. Yeah, yeah I did. I didn't do it, uh, but um, yeah. So yeah, I've been. I've been. Yeah, go ahead, Joe. If you do take a trip anywhere, what's the first? Yeah. What's the What's the fast food franchise you'd travel for? What's a fast food franchise outside of Georgia that you haven't had yet? That you're hankering for i'd like to try in and out i mean it's it's they're, they're fairly big out west and i have yeah. them close to my house in tucson i ate there once and i liked it i like their fries their burgers were kind of meh at the time yeah. but then again i i bought them and then carried them away back to the house and, no i will and, you know, I, will, I, I will let well. you know in and out is an amazing it's an outlier because they have fantastic burgers and the worst french fries ever made by a human being they, really? They, they huh. just, I don't know what's <clears throat> going on. They're, everybody just kind of unanimously knows that their French fries are not it. They're they're just huh. cardboardy. Interesting. I'm I'm not I'm they're, not. They're... I, the only way to eat them is animal style, which I know you probably know, which is you cover them with every sauce on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Eat them as fast as you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, all right. In and out is on the hit list. Got it. Um, all right, Joe. Anything else you got to announce? I, 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 we have so much fun watching every week. It's great to have kind of the inside take on, on everything. Well, I'm, you know, I'm trying to uh, get my cadence of making videos up a little bit. I kind of like 
foundered for a little while there kind of had some medical crap going on i didn't understand still don't still yeah. still work on that but i've just 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 now starting to feel a little bit better um i, I haven't streamed or anything i just could, couldn't sit down to do it couldn't concentrate uh and I have to wait for the right day to make videos and then you know i spend a lot of time doing research at this i spent a huge amount of time trying to get the nutritional information stuff for this i actually got a guy on discord gave me a picture of the instructions for putting these things together and how uh <laughs> How and I'm like, in house, that's interesting. Neft that's oh, yeah. so funny. It's, it, it's a big sheet that says, Don't put this out where the public can see it. Oh, well, guys, and, in my chat, if you are at, with someone who works in one of these fa fa uh, fast food franchises, go over to Joe's Discord and be the mole for him. He needs this information. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Femboy. Yeah, Femboy. <laughs> he's a little Caesars guy. He, we were talking, you know, we had them all there. So I got several of them. I got the one that gave me the information didn't actually work there. He had a friend that gave it to him. And then we were we had a hard time getting the uh, nutritional information. If you order one of these things, yeah, the nutritional, the calorie count on them is wrong. I mean, when they, they got bought up, whoever is doing their website nutritional stuff needs to be fired. Huh. They're terrible. Uh, it, it show, there's no way that little microscopic thing is like 1,200 calories. That's just not possible. Yeah. So Dude, they're got enough mass there. They're going heavy on the calories. You think to oversell? I just think they're. I just think they're incompetent. Uh, <laughs> they're just incompetent. I could go on about all this trying to get what the nutritional information I got came off of Reddit. Interesting. Um, you know, you 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 email the corporate office. You email media relations, and they either don't respond or or, or nasty to you. Yeah. Um, but you know, I actually had one of them scrub the web, scrub uh, one of the websites for a for a Subway, and they got new, got whole separate different bunch of new nutritional information from down in Roswell. So, but this this is what matched what they actually weighed and and stuff. So I stuck with that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whatever. <laughs> you <did. laughs> Whatever. Joe, you're you're the you're the consummate professional. No one no one does this as well as you do. And do well, I like to make videos. It's videos that I make. But yeah. if you're going to do food reviews, you want to try and put as much empirical data in as you can, you know, to, to for it to be valid. You just don't, you know, you just don't want to put garbage out just to make videos and or make B-roll. That was kind of a long B-roll I had me driving over there. I put a lot of effort into that. I mean, they, they always look great. And I got to tell you, we missed you when you weren't feeling well. So we're so happy you're feeling better, brother. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I, pr I appreciate you having me on. I appreciate you support of the channel. Uh, we'll uh, tell Emery I said, hey. Uh, I will. Watch one of my videos. Yeah, yeah I love Emery. She is, she is just, she, she reminds is me of somebody I had a crush on when I was like nine years old. <laughs> just, just, just the way she talked. But yeah, uh, yeah me, and, me, and, me and Shadow Joe are having issues about that because hey. Shadow Joe thinks he's like God's gift, but he's just a ghost. <laughs> I, the, 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 the plot line between Joe and Shadow Joe has come so far. You know, they were competitors, yeah. then they were friends, then they kind of really got into each other. And now there's, now there's a rivalry brewing for the attention of Emily. Yeah, is... there is. I just don't know where to go with it. You know, I just, I just don't know where to go. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse. And, and I, I feel like, you know, you don't want your, you don't want your channel to stagnate, but then you don't want to deviate too much from its structure, but it can't stay the same. It has to right. gradually, gradually shift. You know, even the B-rolls need, or, some of the b-rolls i think are getting a little stale i need to work on yeah maybe but, we um, maybe we have joe prime shadow joe and, and a third joe enters the mix who knows oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is hard timing that you know <laughs> synchronizing talking back and forth yeah, i actually had two interactions that time that took a little bit of a little bit of doing yeah yeah but i have some ideas on how to make that work better too so oh man, we'll work on that. But I don't want to take up your whole stream. No, but, um, Joe. I mean, I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, the last time I streamed, it was you and Emeru. Yeah, and the cameras were like screwed up, so I was talking to Emeru, but I could see your ears. <laughs> <And> I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, huh? We we're doing our, we we're doing our best. <laughs> like, huh? Yeah, we were at yeah, Sears were setup. Gonna, we were at Sears setup. At somebody so else's all, place. Yeah, yeah, it was all messed up. Joe, thank you so much for doing what you do. We absolutely love you. One more time, Appreciate ladies it. and gentlemen, in chat right now, you're going to see Joe's YouTube. You're going to see Joe's uh, Twitch. Please give him a follow on both. He's back to streaming, folks, and his food reviews are very consistent. You can catch about one a week, would you say? 
Yeah, at least one a week. There at you least go. one a week. I almost, yeah, I was being lazy this time and just kind of taking <laughs> it easy. Otherwise, I'd have had this out two days ago. But Got I just it. was chilling, working out in the garden and, and not being crazy. All right, Joe. Thank you so much for but, stopping uh, by, brother. We always love having I you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, my friend, Will. Um, I appreciate everybody that you follow as well. Thank you for supporting me. I appreciate it. I'm going to try and get some streams together. Maybe I'll stream this weekend or, or something. Awesome. And, uh, we'll make that happen. Anyway, y'all take care. I Adios. appreciate it. Adios, Joe. Later. Dude, I love Joe. I absolutely love Joe. What an absolute gem, gem of a person, dude. <laughs> Just, what a gem of a human being. Just the best energy. <laughs> when he was like, oh, yeah, the guy who's giving me information is Femboy. <laughs> Without missing a beat. He's just the best. He's the best of us. What a great dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was, again, Joe is Hungry. Please check out his channels. We got about 30 more minutes before we get into our film night. So if anybody wanted me uh, to react to anything else, or talk about anything else in this next 30 minutes before we get started, uh, drop it or forever hold your peace. Uh, fly me to the moon. I'm a stud. Yes. I'm oh my gosh. I don't take no shit from anyone. I just launched a Kickstarter for my upcoming short film. Could you just look at it and yes. tips on creating film and possible challenges to look out for? Link yeah. Chat logs. Dude, that that donation was way too big. Uh, if you're if you're funding an indie film, feel feel free to refund that. You know, I I want you to put all that money towards what you're doing. Um. But yeah, let's take a look. Uh, the project is called Lookout. Let me take a look, see what we got so far. Based on fears to fathom. Hey, Kayla. I love this zoom. Slow this down. I love it. I love it. You know, I was, I'll be, I'll be a hundred percent real. Oh my God. Look at our community already taking you from two fifty to seven fifty. Way to go guys. Um, I'll back this project as well. God damn it. I'm going to give you your 50 bucks right back. <laughs> I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you your 50 bucks right back. Motherfucker. Um, and I'll tell you why I'm giving you your 50 bucks right back, uh, is because, um, I'll be honest. A lot of times people share film here and I want to encourage people while still, um, you know, uh, nurturing their love of film and making sure that they don't feel discouraged and, 
so I'm a little bit nicer than I should be, right? If I was their teacher, I'd probably be a little bit more like, hey, fuck you, buddy. But uh, this looks good, and it's a good concept. Um, w- one thing I would look out for is I know what you're basing your short film on, but make sure that the game company doesn't know what you're basing your short film on because they might get a little bit um, itchy about a game based or a film based off their game without their knowledge or consent. So you can be like inspired by this game, but putting actual stuff from the game in your trailer, they might come and put the kibosh on the project and get lawyery. And you probably don't want that in. That's the final take, right? This is just a Kickstarter. Don't worry about, don't worry about that. Um, But your location is rad. I like what you're doing with the found footage of it. Um, one thing I would say is for stuff like that slow zoom and a few of those shots, um, don't be afraid to put it on sticks. Like I know it's a, I know it's a found footage and you want to add that shake and stuff, but you can sometimes add that shake in post better than you can do the shake live, particularly with that zoom, right? That zoom is such a horror institution that slow zoom um that too much of a shake on that is going to give people motion sickness so if you put that camera on sticks do the slow zoom possible and then in after you know add a little bit of screen shake uh that might that might look better so um but dude super cool uh, I, I want to hear more about this project. Keep us informed. And hey, man, we already got you from 150 to a thousand bucks. So I'm I'm really proud of my community too for in, uh, encouraging a young filmmaker. Uh, good shit. Good fucking shit. Um, thank you so much. Hey, dude. I I. I have a real passion for film and I think uh, film can can do a lot and uh, oh, yeah. it is my oh, pleasure to support to filmmakers. Supervive? The Platest starts on the 26th and runs till the 4th next month. If yes, how should I send it to you? Oh yeah, do you want the that code to super uh yes, send it to one of my send it to one of my moderators, probably Haas, and we'll get that fired up. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I made wow, a shitty cool. fam cam of horny Yoda. You did not. And you sent it in a media player file. That's my freak. Holy shit. You sent this in a media player file. Let's fucking go, bro. We're getting down and dirty with it. Match my freak. They must. Somebody to match my freak. I don't want to match your freak. Match my freak. You must. You, you must. <laughs> This is a 10 out of 10. This is unbelievable. I might have to put this on my Twitter. And also, I have to give myself credit because this is the first time I've watched this footage. I kind of hit that Yoda voice on. You must. You must. Match my freak. They must. Somebody to match my freak. I don't want to match your freak. Match my freak. You must. You must. You must. You must. You must. <laughs> it's so stupid. Is somebody gonna match my freak? Is somebody gonna match my nasty? Is somebody gonna match my nasty? I got stamina. They say I'm an athlete. Is somebody gonna match my freak? Need somebody with a good technique. Oh, yeah, 
wow, that's very cool. All right. <laughs> the Windows Media Player, dude. All right, whoever sent this, can I put this on Twitter? Because it's so funny. Is somebody going on that? Oh, Heretic looks awesome. We watched the trailer for that. You have a great community. Always so many lols. Dude, I thank you. I, I really like our community too. I think they're I think they're pretty pretty good. Um somebody gonna match my freak. Somebody gonna match my nasty. Um just finished my first bottle of Neff sauce with some ramen. Let's fucking go, dude. Somebody with a good technique. What should the caption be for Yoda? What should the caption be for Yoda? Match my freak, you must. <laughs> Yoda. You must. You must. All right, I'm posting this. You match my freak. I don't want to match your freak. You match my freak. You must. You, you must. <laughs> Him combing his hair. Nasty. Up in the nasty, nasty, nasty. At cutie Cinderella. my freak. Okay, you're you're goddamn right. I'm a, I gotta tag Marsh too. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. Yoda. <laughs> Somebody do my Dude, I, I gotta tag the podcast too. <laughs> you must <laughs> match my freak. I don't wanna match your freak. Match my freak, you must. <laughs> You, you must. <laughs> Dude, me breaking character is so dumb. It's so stupid. Oh god, it's so stupid. Uh, wait. Perfect. Somebody with a good technique. All right. What else am I reacting to? Oh, uh, Fly Me to the Moon trailer. Here we go. Hey, Joe. Being cold. Miss, you're on fire. It's very original. No, I do not want to stop, drop, and roll with you. No, your book is on fire. <gasps> <gasps> oh, my God. Alcohol and flames. They like each other. <laughs> cold days. Kelly Jones. Public support for the moon mission. Since you said you haven't seen this footage, is this all Yoda stuff? Oh, wait. Oh, this is a cut down VOD. Okay, we'll watch that maybe. Mission is rock bottom. Every day, something is breaking. And we're dead again. You're blowing up. Oh, the space program is a bloated mess. NASA needs a marketing specialist, and you are the very best. Excuse me? What are you doing? I tracked you down because I felt we had a connection. What? I'm joking. I work here now to sell the moon. 
NASA is not something that you sell with a jingle and a slogan. When I'm done, those men are going to be bigger than the Beatles. Who is that? For me, this is very personal. He's got my name. You told me that your guys don't do interviews, so I had to hire new guys. I'm here for the casting. Who's he? You. You're a juicy part. 60 missions in Korea. I flew 52 missions in Korea. I flew 52 missions in Korea. <laughs> How's that? Like, you can't sell Channing Tatum is, is so funny. Yeah, this dude's not good looking enough, so we got this dude. What? The whole world will be watching. We can't afford to lose to the Russians. We need to shoot the backup version of the moon landing. You mean to fake it? No one can ever know what we're doing. I cannot accept that. They will shoot you. What is my budget? Oh, boy. I know a lot more about the moon than I know about you. Give me go, no go for launch. If you fake this mission, every single thing that we have sacrificed will have been for nothing. You know you couldn't have made it to the sea without me. Four, three, two, one. one. And... My Armstrong is a whiny little bitch. We have to recast. We should have gotten Cooper. <laughs> okay, that line kind of made it worth it for me. Conspiracy theorists are going to eat this movie up. Oh, for sure. No. <laughs> you rizzed up by a Yoda you've been. <laughs> Cutie Cinderella. You think Yoda is sexy? No, I don't. Yes. I don't. Ooh, I don't even like look at him now. Yeah, you guys can't tell, but like she's. she's actually, I'm not. She's for her. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I really don't like no. her. Oh wow! Can we? Can, can, can we cancel? Can we? Can we? Can we cancel like Yoda, that. please? Oh. We gotta do something. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, I love that I like never break and and sex best Yoda was just sending me. Caress her hair. Caress her hair. Mm. Her supple Yoda. hair. Yoda. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Is Yoda surprised at how mm. <laughs> oh. Is Yoda surprised at how wet her hair is still? It's dry. <laughs> I'm dry today. Wet your hair. I don't know. He's bad. Let's take photo together. <laughs> Yoda Yoda's a little drunk. <laughs> they said Yoda, Yoda Weinstein. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my. Let's take a photo together. Dude, oh my god. Yoda, I was just, I was in a perfect mindset. I had had the perfect amount of, <laughs> of whiskey, whatchamacallit. Oh, that's for a cool. <laughs> Yoda, off that perk 500. That dude, Guru, thank you so much. Yeah, I was in a flow state. The mint juleps. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Um, oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Look, for, for cool. several hours now, I've been told from credible sources the reason Yoda has been banned. <laughs> he wasn't even hiding it. Yoda was in plain sight. You see the new Batman trailer? I did. Darren7493. Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate you. Void Invader. Appreciate you. Okay, no rain sending something. What's this? Japan's major broadcast, NHK, is required to give airtime to candidates running for, Tokyo, for the governor of Tokyo, including the local Joker candidate. <laughs> oh, 
There's no way this is a translator. I was wondering what this woman was doing. I was like, is she all right? Is she laughing? Is she being held hostage? She's translating. Okay, why does Japanese Joker's fit go so fucking hard? Japanese Joker's fit is actually a 10 out of fucking 10. <laughs> Look at the shoes! Look at his shoes! Oh, yeah, wow, that's very cool. What else? I'm all in. To be honest, I'm going to keep it a buck. Probably a better politician oh, yeah, than wow, both the guys cool. we have running in the Hope presidential election. <laughs> like, if I could have Joe Biden, Donald Trump, or Japanese Joker, I'd probably vote for Japanese Joker. What's his platform? I don't fucking care. The Toys R Us releases the first open AI Sora generated brand commercial. Wait, I thought Toys R Us was donezo. Did you ever wonder how Toys R Us and Jeffrey the Giraffe came to be? The son of a bike shop owner, Charles Lazarus, had a vision that would go on to change toy stores forever. <laughs> oh my God, it's Hassan. <laughs> Twain's. uncanny ick it gives me a lot of uncanny ick and the dream continues on with the toys r us at every macy's huh it's crazy because you know rightly so you guys are all out on that you know you're like ah sore ai i don't like it and i agree with that take and where were you when i was talking about ai sex robots 24 hours ago i was talking about ai sex robots and all of you who are so out right now, were let's fucking going as hard as you could. <laughs> Caught. That's different. <laughs> Not you too, Miss Splinters. <laughs> You're supposed to be a voice of reason in this community. You're supposed to be a leader. You can't be for AI fuckbots also. <laughs> Not our matriarchs. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. Pack it up. We're done. <laughs> Dude. Oh, God. Can't fuck a toy giraffe. Oh, my God. Please. 
<laughs> please, please. Uh, Will, I think this is the reset we need. Okay, what's this? What is this? Oh yeah, wow, that's so cool. Fuck yeah, I'm so stoked for another round. God, Blur doesn't usually do remixes. That's pretty that's pretty crazy. That meme is so dumb. It's so perfect that it's so stupid. This is how Will is this how Will Neff got his swag. So you want to be hip. <laughs> Man, I've got football practice in an hour. Oh, yeah, Could wow, he be so any cool. slower? I need to learn this stuff. What up, players? It's your boy, Instructor Diggity D. You ready to pick up what I'm putting down? Huh? Class is in session. Check it out, yo. Yo, yo. So you want to be hip? You gotta suck your own dick. Wiggity, what, what? You gotta suck your own dick. Wiggity, dick, 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 dick. Now say you're at a party and there's a bad ratio. One word, auto fellatio. Suck your own dick. You gotta suck your own dick. Eat your own dick like you're some kind of cannibal. All the pimps do it and chicks think it's radical. You wanna be hip? You gotta, you gotta suck, suck your own dick. First, you gotta scratch like this. You gotta bend right if you wanna take licks. Second, you gotta open up your throat. You're nothing but a square if you make yourself choke. Yeah, home slice, you're starting to get it. Now that's how you look like a real gangster. Funky fresh. So you wanna be hip? You gotta suck your own dick. Wiggity what, what? You gotta suck your own dick. Wiggity dick, 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 dick. Wow, Mr. Diggity D sure is the coolest. <laughs> and helpful. Next time I bet I'll be able to lick my own pussy. <laughs> you know, Claire, I could just do that for you. <laughs> oh, Kevin, you're in a wheelchair. That would be social suicide. <laughs> yeah, totally. Jesus Christ! there Jesus Christ I love how anytime there is something about sucking your own dick it gets sent to me now do you guys even remember where that started does this community even remember where the me sucking my own dick meme came from it literally came from me Playing League of Legends one night, I forget who I was playing with, and Lord Spew was watching, and I freaked out, and I was like, I can't believe you would vote for someone as problematic as Japanese Joker. He's running on the platform of strapping two ferries with bombs. One is full of felons and the yep. other of citizens, but they each have detonators for the other ship. Right. Not cool. True. That is true. Somehow less damaging than the other two politicians, though, still. <laughs> um, but I was playing League of Legends, and I screamed. I was like, is this what you want, Riot? You want me to suck my own dick? Oh, yeah, wow. Is this what you want? Jeez. And I pulled my legs up super hard because I was so frustrated. I don't know why I said or did that. And Spew drew, drew that picture of Nef Yoga, and it spread from there. And now any time autofellatio is mentioned, it's me. To the point where my aunt saw an obituary that my podcast released of me sucking my own cock. To the point where our merch for Fear and is going to be an airbrushed 
Memorial Will Neff shirt about me sucking my own cock. I cannot escape this meme. It is everywhere. Anytime my name is mentioned, it is sucking his own cock is the next thing. I'm, I memed too close to the sun. I'm buying that. Dude, I wonder if Marsh can send it to me. I want to leak it so bad. Let me see if Marsh is online. Can you send me the Will Neff self suck shirt? I want to leak this. I'm going to text him. I'm a stud. Oh, he's on. Ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. Nothing like a little self suck to get you through the work week, brother. Let me see if Marshall let me leak it. I, I really want to show oh, you yeah, guys wow. this. That's it's so cool. fucking 18 stupid. months of self-suck love you all. Wait, you're that, Will Neff? The self-suck guy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, you get, you're getting an exclusive tonight. You're getting an exclusive. You're getting the first leak. Sex robot tech progresses. What? What? This fleshy pink smiling face is made with living human skin cells and was created as part of an experiment? What? Robots communicate better with people. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, you are getting an exclusive look <laughs> at the Will Neff self suck memorial shirts. We have a few images. <laughs> Oh my God. Apparently there's two versions. <laughs> the Will Neff Memorial self suck shirt. Fly high. Will Neff. Forever in our hearts. <laughs> and then there's the cowboy version. Rest in power. Will Neff. <laughs> Fly high, sunrise, sunset. Oh my, this one is, dude, the blue one is so good. <laughs> Fly high <laughs> with the fucking dove, dude. Oh my God, bro. Oh, so good. I can't wait for those. F 
Fly high, dude. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. <laughs> Yoda in the bayou? Show oh, it. <laughs> that Dagobah swamp heat. Welcome, Luke. R2D2 Dagobah. Hope you don't mind the heat. Yoda used to it now. But Yoda first thing cut off the planet and Dagobah. Oh, mm -hmm. no, was Yoda sweating. Nasty. <laughs> You. All right, here we go. Stinky. Do I have to Unprepared press any buttons? you are. <laughs> Hold on a second, Luke. Oh. <laughs> Let me get that ship out of the swamp using my brain here. <laughs> Y'all, okay. Ooh, she a heavy bitch. Ain't she, Luke? Yo, to try to make gumbo. <laughs> All I got is a pot of green slug. <laughs> Hope you don't mind, Luke. Hey, Master Yoda, why didn't you tell me about my dad? Who? <laughs> Come back from having no dream where you saw your daddy's head. What? <laughs> Obi Wan, this boy too old. <laughs> I told you, I want him young. <laughs> when next time you send me a boy, ain't no boy nineteen <laughs> showing up. I want a five year old. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Just all the laughing. And when I say you, <laughs> get out, get out. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I can, thank you. Come on. Thanks, Yoda. That was Yoda. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like him, didn't it? I guess you're right. Do you want right. to try to do that? Yeah, video? I guess we could do our. Holy shit. Our own gameplay now. <laughs> Yoda. Oh yeah. Well, Alright, let's take a look at Haas real quick. Keep Yoda away from the younglings. Yeah, keep Yoda away, dude. He's at that high BPM. That too, Divine Dancing Beast Lion is so hard. Divine Dancing Beast is literally the filter for the DLC. Like he is the first boss where you're like, oh shit, this is gonna get real, isn't it? He's got a lot of healing. He's going to phase shift. Oh, he's dead. Wait, is Haas going no mimic? Is Hassan going no mimic? Like an absolute Chad? Wow. That's, that's Chadular. Uh, did you feed the secret second lion? It's so much harder. Secret second lion? Where's the secret second lion? I didn't even know that was a thing. Street Fighter film is releasing on March 20th, 2026. Hell yeah. I hope it's good. Street Fighter actually has dope lore. I'm doing no mimic and no summon run and only level 50. It's fun and brutal. Oh my God, you're, you're a Chad for real. Have you seen the photos of Superman? I have. The photos of Superman look great. Who's playing Cammy? Great question. I have heard this remix, but uh, the Hundred Gax remix, the self suck story. <laughs> Can you give us context on this? Yeah. So every time I go out of town, um, <laughs> everybody says that I'm fucking dead, that I've sucked my my own dick to death. Uh, this is a picture of what I was wearing. Oh yeah, wow! And uh, there's Caroline too. We're up on the we're up on the mountain, and somehow this is a photo they found of someone wearing the same pants, uh, face down in the snow. It's not me. They found it instantly, and uh, yeah, this is an obituary that uh, while I was at my uncle's seventieth birthday dinner, 
uh, came up in my aunt's timeline. Yeah. And uh, over the course of a 70th birthday dinner, I had to explain what self-suck was <laughs> and how I died doing it and why my audience thought it was funny that I uh, gagged to death on my own cock. Uh, ah! You could not believe the gymnastics that I had to go through to, con to convince them that this was the work of adoring fans who only wanted the best for me and not complete psychopaths <laughs> who were praying for my death. Um, it, you know, it just doesn't translate. I don't think it translates uh, to people who are around during the Vietnam War. I just, ah! I think they see the world differently. You know, they got a laugh out of it, but it was more of like a curious, uh, what? But why sucking your yeah, own well, dick? That's for cool. Why did they say this? Because you missed one episode of a podcast? <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Yep. Every time I miss a, a single episode of the podcast, I, I, I die sucking my own dick. This is a regular occurrence. Still, to this day, You'll notice a year later, again, to this which day. Which was equally baffling to my 70-year-old <laughs> uncle. As he went, you've died of sucking your own dick before. Well, yes. You know, what we do here on Twitch, sometimes it just don't translate, ladies and gentlemen. It just doesn't. Look at how few toys I had in the background. What a weak collection of toys this man had. Translate neatly. Let me tell you. Okay. Sometimes it's just a little, hmm. Maybe you should stop the self-sucking. Oh, yeah. It's my fault. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, wow. This movie is an all-timer for me. Cool. It's such a good movie. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to grab some water, and then we are going to get into a film night. A film night. Yeah. Yes. Been soloing the bosses with a strength build in the DLC and on my fourth one. Sure. In terms of DLC, every boss has been oh, brutal. Yeah, wow. That's the right. bosses cool. are the hardest they they've been in a Souls game, in my opinion. For me? <laughs> no, they haven't, they haven't asked about that yet. Uh, thank God. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to grab some water. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pige. And when I come back, we'll do the rules for film night, and we'll get into our movie. You guys have been waiting patiently for two hours. So be back in about a minute, and we'll get things started.
I gotta let this play out. Dude, this makes me want to be on a boat so bad. Marvel vs. Capcom collection coming soon? Yes. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been very patient. So now, time to talk to you about film night. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we are going to be watching a movie that I think a lot of you probably have not seen, but everybody will enjoy um, this movie is called Another Round. Uh, I love this movie. Uh, I consider this like in the Criterion space. It's a great film. Um, and it's really good. It's led by Mads Mikkelsen. It's about a group of fat friends that undergo a social experiment where they decide to basically get drunk every single fucking day of their lives. Um, shenanigans ensue. <clears throat> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you may or may not be aware, uh, Amazon Prime watch parties are sadly gone. Gone are the days where we could watch a movie without any risk of DMCA or TOS violations. However, thanks to the good people at YouTube, uh, we use a service called YouTube Free Movies, which allows us to join together and watch movies that YouTube has bought the rights to to be streamed out for free to you and we can do that together. Um, the only stipulations on this are that I have to delete the VOD for tonight because we are not going to make an illegal copy of this film and I will also be splitting the audio which isn't important but for those of you who watch VODs um, and you're thinking about ducking out or you want to watch this at another time uh, it's simply impossible. Uh, film night is a film class that happens when it happens, and that's the best I can do for you. With peace and love, peace and love. IBB Spider, thank you so much. The other rule about film nights, I'm going to turn off bit notifications, I'm going to turn off chat, and I'm going to turn off uh, any and all subscriptions that happen during the film. So if you want to support, I really appreciate you guys. You know I love you. You know I, I it, it makes my life possible. But uh, Wednesdays are for just chilling, for being here, and don't feel any pressure to subscribe or give bits or do anything of the sort. Just be here and be present and pay attention to the movie. Uh, with that being said, I don't want to turn off my ad incentive every week because that fucks up how much money I make on my ad incentive. So if you are not subscribed, you're going to get fucking ads. Sorry about that. With peace and love, peace and love. Um, anywho, is it a sub or a dub? Let me check. I didn't even see what the YouTube version was. It's a sub. It is a sub of the movie. I know a lot of you will be put off by the fact that this is a movie with subtitles, but it's really worth sticking around for if you choose to. Okay. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, 
We have a brief set of rules that we observe every night. A brief instructional video to acquaint you with how we watch movies in this community. Uh, it's three minutes long. If you haven't been here uh, before, you know, you might want to check these out. They're, you know, best practices and such. But if you have seen these before, you know you have three minutes to go get a blanket, hit the lights, get comfortable, grab a snack, and get ready to watch the movie with us. Lord will gifted a tier one sub to need. Thank you so much. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, in three minutes, we're going to watch another round. Here are the rules. I'll see you in three minutes. Oh, yeah, wow, that's very cool. Blordal gifted a tier one sub to Lindy Loves Your Shoes. They have given 148 gift subs in the channel. You can't beat my meat for special treat. Sucking on me is really neat. Don't be a jerk and don't be a fool. Be a good neighbor and follow these rules. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. Then Quinn gifted a tier one sub to Jalexos. They have given two gift subs in the chain. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. And Anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Smooth Shale Cut Dust. Gentlemen, we are fucking dialed in. We are locked in. We are ready to watch a movie that I think is really, really, really good. And we've been watching a lot of great movies, but it's always a pleasure when we get to watch something Criterion. So first and foremost, desktop audio, you're gone. Then I got to switch on our alternative audio capture. Which is that. Then I got to make sure it's loud enough. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody hold. I've got a checklist. Yes, that's good and loud. All right. Let's pull it up on screen here. It's your favorite foreign move. Boo doo doo doo. Boo boo doo doo doo. And come back to me. Huh. Why won't this full screen? Mm. It's alt enter is full screen shorthand, right? Am I crazy? Or F11? There we go. Perfect. Just had to spam. Okay. React Andy tab. 
Fixed alerts. Gonzo. Fixed bits. Gonzo. Chat. Gonzo. Ladies and gentlemen, we are locked and loaded. Please enjoy tonight's screening of Another Round from the year 2020, starring one of my favorite leads of all time, Mads Mikkelsen. <laughs> 